Previously, we talked about parameters. Today's topic is about advanced control and parameters. So it's a little bit about controls, a little bit about filters, a little bit about parameters, but those topics that I couldn't include them in the main session for each of these concepts. First, we start with advanced control and parameters and talk about filtering blended data. So filters and blended data sources. Filtering across data sources, parameter scopes, and using a parameter across different data sources. So these are the things that we want to cover. In the first section, then if we have time, we talk about chart interactions, right? metric sliders, optional metrics, trail down, which I guess we will have time for this. And if we get five more minutes, We'll talk about link navigation in Data Studio. Okay, so let's jump in to Data Studio and start filtering across data sources. So far in this course, I was talking about mostly things that you can do in Data Studio. We can do this, we can do that, but this is the first slide that I'm going to talk about something that we cannot do. So it's about what we cannot do in Data Studio. Filtering only works across data sources of the same type, the ones that are created by the same data connector. So two different Google Analytics data sources, one is from crwork.com, one is from Analytics Demo account. These two are different data sources, but they have been created by the same data connector. Google Data Studio is built in a GA connector. This is a Google Sheet, and this is from Google Ads. So now, something that is similar between all four of these data sources is that they have a field called country. Like in Google Analytics, we have country. In this Google Sheet, I have a column named exactly country. And in Google Ads, we have country slash territory. So it's title a little bit differently than the rest of them, but still it includes the same list of values within. So we as humans, we know that these fields are the same. Country is country, country territory is the same, but controls do not affect charts that are based on data sources of different types. So this control, which is yellow, and if we click on it, we can see that it's connected to GADM account master view, this one, this cannot filter the country list of this chart, which is connected to a Google Sheet, or this one, which is connected to Google Ads. Let's see. If I filter by United States, these two refresh. These are filtered to show only United States, but there is no change in these two. It cannot do that. It simply cannot do that. Because we know that this country is the same as this country, but Data Studio doesn't have any clue. In these two, it knows because they are built by the same data connector. And we will see why it matters that they are built by the same data connector. But it's something that is not possible. If I filter the Google Sheet, only Google Sheet gets affected. If I filter Google Ads to include Zambia, for example, only Google Ads data is affected. So these are not cross filter charts. Anyone knows how to filter across data sources or have done so? Some of you might know. I think there might be a setting and setting and style that you can select which one potentially. No, in the style tab or in the data tab, we can assign one data source to one control. So this control only is for all of the data sources of this time. It does filter two different data sources because the two of them are created by Google Analytics Data Connector, but it cannot ever filter the rest of the data sources because it doesn't know that this country is the same other country. Now, let's see a workaround of kind of fooling Data Studio into actually doing it, right? Data Studio doesn't want to do that, but we want to force it to do it. 